Tonight, a local school district preparing for the worst case scenario as it deals with a multi million dollar budget crisis. Good evening. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. The Dighton Rehoboth School Committee meeting was packed tonight as the committee detailed what was on the chopping block if voters don't pass a budget override later this summer. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin has more from Dighton new tonight. Well, the question a lot of people had tonight is why exactly is this happening? The superintendent says when you look at the town of Rehoboth's budget for next year, $25 million has been allotted for the town and the school district to split. The district had asked for $17.5 million. The town had asked for $10 million, meaning they're $2.5 million short. And that's why an override is needed to collect those additional funds. More than 100 proposed layoffs, plus cuts to classes and a suspension of programs. Students at Dighton Rehoboth Regional High School say a lot is at stake. If we lose those things, we lose the sense of community that we have, and that's what brought everyone out here. A packed crowd inside the high school Tuesday night illustrated a town's vested interest in the matter. Superintendent Anthony Azar says after many years of using savings and reducing and reallocating resources, they've hit a financial brick wall in the town of Rehoboth and are now facing a 2.5% budget override this summer in order to fund the district's proposed budget for next year. Our FY19 budget puts all of these people back to where they belong. And where do they belong? In the classroom, exactly. If residents vote against the override on July 17th, the superintendent says 105 district employees could lose their jobs as the budget would be reduced by more than $3 million. I know a lot of people think it's like, oh, they're just teachers, but like they become more like friends to a lot of us. Some other repercussions if the override fails, some high school language and professional courses could be cut, class sizes could increase, and all sports programs and after school activities would be at risk. To sum it up, it won't be a district where I would want to send my kids. The superintendent says the school district is suspending athletics and activities starting July 1st until the budget picture is clarified. He's hoping people will come out on July 17th to vote yes to override. To come out in support to send a clear message that we are one school district and we are together in this for a very long time. And under state law, since the budget will not be complete by July 1st, the district will start to operate on a monthly budget that is based on one twelfth of the 2018 budget. But if that override does pass on July 17th, sports and activities will be reinstated and those layoff notices will be rescinded. Count on us to keep you updated. Reporting in Dighton tonight, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.